Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. I built another Bluetooth speaker and this time I wanted to go not only retro but kind of stylizing of the old 50s tail fin and then this is going to be a gift for my daughter so I wanted to use the pink color with it as well. So let's get started. I always like to start out by sketching up the idea or the concept. With this one I actually did three different concepts and then just kind of settled on the one I wanted to use. So now I'm going to come back and redraw this to full size to use as my pattern. So after reworking my my pattern the Bluetooth speaker components that I've ordered gave me the sizes of the holes so I was able to uh, draw a two and three quarter inch hole on for the both the front and the back. Now I ended up later on relocating where I put the speaker on the back of this. So now I'm going to take and just cut the pattern out. Now this is going to have several layers and instead of me having to redraw each layer I'm actually going to continue to trace the pattern rather than spray glue it down and cut it out. So I'll tape it down, trace it, and then I'll have to come back and trim the next piece of it out and just keep taking it apart that way. I'll save these patterns so that I can use them again later on if I ever want to build another uh, Bluetooth to this design. Now trying to make best space, so I'm just kind of nesting each of these pieces to where they can best fit and I can still reach them with the bandsaw. I also came back and labeled each panel so I'll remember what each one was actually used for. I'm now going to also use a piece of quarter inch uh, MDF to do some of the smaller molding details on it. Then it's off to the bandsaw to cut out all of the pieces. So now there is the back side and this is the also the back side of the fin. The full fin piece, the bottom of the molding, the top of the fin, and then the individual pieces that'll be like chrome or silver molding. So off to the sander and I'm just going to work these around and also work the angles, get everything softened to give it that look that I'm going for. The MDF is a great material for sanding. It sands down very smooth and it, it's, it's very easy to work with, but it does throw a lot of sawdust. Luckily I'm using a shop vac hooked up to this so that helps to keep the, uh, the dust down. If it's good weather, a lot of times I'll take it outside and do the, the sanding. I also used some double stick tape and stuck down the molding piece on there so that I can make sure that they're fitting right. You can get an idea of how that's going together and continue to shape it. Now I'm going to mark this off at 5 inches and I'm going to cut the sides and the top out of half inch MDF. Lining this up, this will be the top. And now for the sides, because we've got a little bit of, a, of an angle, so I'm going to not only mark the, the, the size, but also I'm going to have to mark that angle down so that I can get a good good fit with that when we put it all together. 
My bandsaw has a adjustable table, so I was able to put that at an angle and then with a little experimenting, get it right to the angle that I needed. I moved that hole that was originally going to be on the back side of the, the speaker housing to the front of it, and then the smaller hole that will be the component piece to the top. Using a scroll saw, I'm going to cut out all the holes and a little bit of sanding and then line these up. And here's my shop cat, Sabella. So now I'm going to be ready to start gluing. I'm going to be using some of the Starbond adhesive. This is like a a super glue and I'm using an accelerator and then once you set that in place you line it up and you don't have much time because it will set up extremely fast. I've really gotten to where I like this product and it just works great. I'll put a link down in the description for this product. Now I'm really going to start throwing some sawdust, so I brought this outside and the weather was decent, so I'm going to start sanding and molding this down to the shape that I want. That's looking good. I think that's going to work. I'll have to do a little hand sanding just to smooth it out. I'm using some 220 just to finish the rounding on all these parts. I'm also going to take some more just cheap double stick tape and hold some of these pieces on because I'm going to prime it all in one piece because that'll help me to realize where the parts fit and also to make sure that the glue when you start gluing it all together is adhering wood to wood and not paint to paint. laying a coat of primer on this mainly so that I can come back give it a light sanding and see if there's any places that need to be filled so once I go through that I can see how it's starting to look it's starting to shape together the way I want it needs a little work on sanding up on the top of that and then using just some simple wood filler, I'm going to come in and hit a few spots that I could see that showed some of the seams. This will help to hide those once they dry, and it dries very quickly. And you can see how this all fits together, making sure it all lines up. I'm going to trace this down so that I can see what's going to be exposed and then I'm going to clean this off and put some painters tape down like I say because I don't want to be gluing glue to paint I want it to be or wood to wood with the glue it'll hold better so I set these up and I can come back in and uh, spray my color on here now I'm using some two times uh, paint it's a primer and paint in one so we'll see how well that that works I believe it's from rust-oleum so this I'm giving it a coat of a metallic silver after the paint dries I can then take it all apart and spray the pink pieces separately and I'll wipe this down and also using the same brand of paint and laying on the pink. I take my time, lightly coat it, and come back several times to give it the, the finish that I want and letting it dry or tack up between each one of those coats. Now I'm going to cut some of that quarter inch MDF and this is going to be the chrome bars that run across the front of the design and setting them down on the design I can 
line up where I want them, kind of trace that down, and then cut these to the proper length. I'm also going to need to sand out a little area where it goes over the speaker itself because the speaker has a little bit of a rise to it. So you can see here where I'm just kind of trimming that out and then giving it several coats of the silver spray paint. So now I've got all the pieces are painted body, and basically. ready to start assembly. And then the top piece of the pan. Back. The tail fin. And then some of the silver. It seems like lots of pieces, but actually I'm, I'm happy with the way they're turning out. And I think this is going to be fun to put together. So let's get started. I also cut a piece that's going to fit in of that five inch by half inch thick MDF and this will be set in for the bottom. On the last speaker kit I built I made the bottom removable but on this one it doesn't need to be because you can access everything through the speaker holes. I'm going to tape out a little bit of that area because I'll be using that accelerator and I don't trust whether it might affect the paint. Now you only get one shot at this so line it up as close as you can. It worked out just fine. And you don't want to put too much of that on there either because you don't want it to ooze out. So you got to find just that right amount. But that's that's feeling good. It's locking on just fine. I'm going to continue this to put on the pink wing on the back side of it. I love this glue because it sets up so quick. You, you just don't lose any time on these projects at all. Now I apologize for my handshake because I have what's called essential tremors and it's a pain in the neck but I try to work through it and I, I hope it's not too distracting. By taping all those pieces together when I was painting them originally, it helped me to keep, like I say, the wood exposed to where I needed to glue it up so it would have better adherence. Now the speaker kit I got from Rockler, it was $39 and they shipped it very quickly. This is a simple kit compared to the one I got from Parts Express in terms of this is everything. It has uh, two small speakers, a battery, rechargeable battery in it, and also a charging cable. And very easy to assemble everything if you you can push all of your cables through and then just if you drilled your holes right you can clip them down there now I'm gonna set those grills on here and to make sure I line them up right I'm gonna put some tape down and just mark where I want each of those to go once I've got those marked I can glue these down but now I won't use the accelerator I'll just use some light drops of the the glue itself and then, like I said, I had to trim those up so they fit over that speaker grill 
and it worked out really well. Okay, once that's in place, now I can put some of the other pieces in here. I had moved that speaker to the front. I'm going to go ahead and put some small cushioned uh, sticky back little feet on there to help protect it from whatever it sits on. And these adhere just fine. Now you can fish all your wiring through the holes because they're easy to, to reach and then you just press in your parts. The great thing with this you only have three wires and they're color coded. You have the, the red, white, and blue so it's impossible to uh, mess that up. So once I get those in before I click it down in space I'm going to turn it on sure it works. Looks like it works. And I think we're good to go. Let's try this thing out. doesn't sound too bad. And you can advance these by just hitting the button on the, the top for forward or back with this. And the great thing with this one too is it comes with the charging cable so all you have to do is plug it into a USB port either on your computer or just a charging piece. So that works fairly well. I like the way this turned out. If you like it or have any suggestions or comments please put them in the comment section down below and if you like some of these videos or want to watch um, some of these others, that'd be great too. I'll see you soon.